Alright, in this video I'm going to talk about using the root test for a series to determine if it converges or diverges. And if you'll recall, the root test actually shows absolute convergence if you've uh, seen that before. But if you haven't, don't worry. Absolute convergence implies convergence. So you can still use this test to show whether a series diverges or converges. <clears throat> so let's suppose our terms inside the series, we'll call those little a sub n. It basically says you take the nth root of the absolute value of that stuff and then take the limit as n goes to infinity. Again, if the limit's smaller than 1, it's absolutely convergent. If this limit is bigger than 1, the series is divergent. And if the limit, the limit equals 1, the root test is inconclusive. So let's do uh, a few examples here. Oops, sorry. So the first one we want to do is the series from 1 to infinity of n squared plus 1 over 2 n squared plus 1 all raised to the nth power. Well again, the stuff on the inside, that's what I'm calling my a sub n's. So here are the a sub n's. It says we have to take the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of the a sub n's. But in this case it's positive anyway. So if we take the limit as n goes to infinity of the a sub n's, again that's n squared plus 1 over 2 n squared plus 1 raised to the nth power. Then if I raise it to the nth root, if I take the nth root of that, remember the nth root is the same thing as raising it to the 1 over n power. And this is usually an indication of when you're going to do the uh, the root test. Notice at the very beginning there's this big old power of n floating around. Well, taking the nth root of something is always going to remove that power of n, making the limit a little bit easier to take, hopefully. So if you see things raised to the nth power, a lot of times this uh, root test will be a good a good guess. Okay, so back to the problem here. This is the limit as n goes to infinity. The nth power and the nth root are just going to cancel out, leaving you with n squared plus 1 over 2n squared plus 1. And this is that trick. We've got a limit at infinity. The power on top is the same as the power on the bottom. So for these rational functions, you just take the ratio of the coefficients. Again, the ratio of the coefficients being 1 half. So here our limit is certainly smaller than 1, so we, would con con we could conclude that our original series is both absolutely convergent and therefore convergent. Okay, so not so bad. Let's look at another one here. So again, in this problem, we've got a series. We've got n raised to the n power, and then 3 raised to the 1 plus 3n. So same idea. Um, notice these powers of n floating around. You've got n to the n. You've got 3 raised to something involving the n power. So again, I'm going to use this root test. So the limit as n goes to infinity. It says we take the nth root of the absolute value. Again, this stuff's going to be positive for n greater than 1 anyway. So we'll have n raised to the n over 3 raised to the 1 plus 3n power. And again, I'm taking the nth root of that, so that'll be to the 1 over n power. So now we just have to do a little bit of algebra and then uh, figure out what our limit equals here. So we have the limit as n goes to infinity. I'm going to rewrite the inside, maybe take just a couple steps. So I could write this as 3 times 3 raised to the 3n power. Right? Like bases, you add the exponents, so I could turn this back into 1 plus 3n. And again, basically, this exponent, remember again, just a little bit of algebra, everything all the powers on the inside are all going to get multiplied by that 1 over n. So let's just do a little bit of algebra here. 
again taking a couple extra steps on this example. So n raised to the n, if I take the n times 1 over n, I'm just going to get n to the first power. Then in the denominator, I'm going to get 3 raised to the 1 over n power. And then when I multiply the 3 to the n and 1 over n, I'm just going to get 3 raised to the third power. Okay, as n goes to infinity, what's going to happen to 1 over n? Well, you'll get 1 over a big number. So this is actually going to get close to 0, while the numerator, on the other hand, is going off to infinity. So really, our limit's going to become infinity over 27, which is the same thing as infinity. So this um, series is going to be actually an example of a divergent series, because our limit L was not smaller than 1. Okay, And if you think about n raised to the n, you can almost guess that just at the beginning. If you start plugging in large values for n, the numerator is going to get big very quickly. The numerator is going to get big as well, but not as fast as the numerator. All right, one last one here. So here we have n over n plus 1 all being raised to the n squared. Again, I see this power of n, I think maybe. A good idea would be to use the uh, the root test. And again, with a lot of series, you know, there may be multiple ways to do it. So if you see another way to do some of these, that's certainly certainly possible. So there's my n over n plus one raised to the n squared. And again, I'm taking the nth root of this stuff which is the same thing as to the 1 over n power. Again, I'm leaving off the absolute value because I am recognizing for values of n greater than 1, again, everything's going to be positive anyway. But if you had like an alternating series, um, you would still be allowed to do this, just remove the negative values. So in this case, um, if I multiply on the outside, I'm going to get n over n plus 1. Now I'm just going to get n squared over n, which is to the nth power. And actually this limit, maybe you recognize this one. I'm going to tweak it a little bit. I'm going to multiply top and bottom of the inside of the fraction by 1 over n. So then I still have my n on top, my n plus 1 raised to the n left over. Well, in the numerator, I'm just going to have 1 over n times n, which is 1. In the denominator, if I distribute, I'll get 1 over n times n, which will give me 1, plus 1 over n, raised to the nth power. And if we keep simplifying this, we're basically there. You can make it 1 to the n power on top. 1 plus 1 over n, all raised to the n power in the denominator. Well, 1 to the n is just 1, so really we have the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over this 1 plus 1 over n raised to the nth power. Maybe you recognize this bottom limit. The limit as n goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over n raised to the n. It actually turns out that that limit equals the number e. Okay, so maybe just a little reminder here too on your limits. So our limit turns out to be 1 over e. Well, this is certainly again a number smaller than 1. So what we can conclude is that this original series is absolutely convergent and also planal convergent. Okay, so a few examples of the root test here in this video. So I hope they make some sense. Again, look for these powers of n. That's usually going to be an indication that you use the root test. Um, maybe it's just me when it comes to showing series converge or diverge. I use the ratio test, probably, or excuse me, the root test. I hope I keep saying the root test. I use the root test very little. Um, but that is to say you can't use it in other situations. But again, unless I see these powers of n, I don't mess with it. So, 
All right, if you have any other questions, feel free to send me an email. I'll be happy to get to them. And um, once again, hope this helps.